Hey everybody, uh, happy Sunday. Rob Booker here, best-selling author of Adventures of a Currency Trader and blah, 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 yada, 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 trading by faith, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Welcome uh, to the office. Welcome, uh, welcome. I have, I have some stuff I've been meaning to talk to you about for quite a while. And so what I want to do is jump on over here and discuss some things that uh, have a lot to do with trading but initially might not seem to have a lot to do with trading. Um, if you're watching on Facebook or you're watching on YouTube, love to hear your comments. Uh, if you're watching on Twitter, just at me back on Twitter or leave a comment. I don't really know how it works when this is broadcast on Periscope. I'm not really exactly sure. Okay, so something you might have heard um, Tony Robbins or Jim Rohn or some of those ultra massive success coaches say or something along the lines that um, decisions are destiny, meaning our decisions determine our destiny and where we go. And I think this is one of those phrases that you hear a lot, but might actually be meaningless without some context. And I want to talk about this today as it relates specifically and directly to traders, because here's, here's what most people believe about success uh, in trading or in you know just about anything else. People believe that they're at point A and then there is something at point B that they want to have. And just about every single thing in the world of um, success or coaching or um, even, you know, I don't know, success-oriented trading education, which would, <laughs> which would definitely be exactly what I do, um, everything is oriented on goals. All right, so I'm going to change the position of the little, uh, I'm going to change the position of this so that you can see what I'm drawing a little bit better. Okay, so everything is focused basically on uh, the goals. And they say, well, set a goal, and if you set a particular goal, you're going to work for that goal. You're going to visualize it, and you're going to believe and you're going to have faith. And all of these are ingredients that are absolutely necessary. These are all super important components of success. I mean, I, have, I really have no argument with, with any of that. Um, but I think it takes the focus off of something far more meaningful. So I wanna, I wanna remove the focus on the goal and I want to plot a different trajectory to success, especially as it relates to traders. So I don't want you to think about your destination um, at all. And I, I definitely don't want you to think of your destination as some kind of mountain peak that you, that you have to climb, right? Some snowy mountain peak and you're some, you know, hiker going up the mountain or whatever. I think that's a... I think that's a mistake. I think what you want to believe is that it's a straight line and it's not necessarily outside of yourself or um, above yourself, that your goals are actually part of yourself. That inside of yourself, if it's a Venn diagram, inside of yourself is the ability to do great things and where those great things merge with you from inside of you, basically, you achieve them. Meaning your goals and your aspirations really aren't something that's outside of you or far away from you or whatever. Meaning, let's say that you do accomplish the goal of making $250,000 a year as a trader. Now you're still you, right? Like, you're still you. Uh, your bank account is different, but, but you are still all of the things you've ever been and all you did was draw from some source of strength inside and use your brain and get help from above, hopefully, to accomplish what you wanted. But you're not something, you didn't, you didn't go anywhere on the inside. Maybe you changed, maybe you developed, maybe you became more than what you were, maybe you became more than just the man or woman that you were before, maybe you um, did some difficult things, but you're still the same person. Everything that you need Everything that you need in order to achieve that is already inside of you. And the only way that's different is if you go to somebody and you ask them for the money and then it's outside of yourself. But otherwise, 
all of your trading related goals and all of your life related goals are going to come from the inside. They're going to come from you and you're going to be the person that does it. And so you're not journeying somewhere else or um, climbing some huge mountain. You're, you're digging deep in yourself to, to get something that you want. And, and, and how, you, how you get in the middle here and accomplish this thing that you want so badly. So let's say that's, I don't know, let's just say it's $250,000 in trading related profit. Let's just say that's what it is. I'm going to share with you what I think is the difference maker between people who get it and people who don't. So you're at point A right now. And then what I say is you make a, what I would call a big decision. So that's the big decision. And that big decision would be something along the lines, like in life, big decisions are things like marriage, job, those kinds of things, right? Those kinds of things are the big decisions. But as far as trading is concerned, your big decision is your system focus, right? It's the, it's the focus that you put on the system that you're choosing to trade. So let's get you a be better look at the screen here. So the system that you're going to focus on. This is the big decision. Okay, that's, that's, that's the big decision. The other big decision is that you're going to be disciplined. You're going to, you're, you're absolutely positively going to dig down deep inside of yourself. Uh, no excuses. Adapt, improvise, overcome. I love that marine uh, philosophy. Um, you're never a victim. You make a decision about what I would call growing up. So you make this big decision to focus on a system and grow up. Uh, this can be, you know, I, I've done this in my business, I've done this in my personal life, I've done this in my trading life as well. And so none of this right here has anything to do with um, your goal, right? You're, you're choosing a system and a process and you're on the, on the inside of yourself, you're growing up. And, and your goal is, is out of the picture for a minute. And so instead of doing what everybody else does, which is daydream about the destination, daydream about the vacation, daydream about whatever, and make their vision board and, and all that kind of stuff. Instead of doing those things, you have decided to become a better person and you've decided to focus on a system. Now, this can apply to uh, relationships, it can apply to trading, and we could talk about all that other stuff inside of our classes and inside of other things, but I want to specifically dis discuss how this relates to trading. So you decide that you're going to focus on a system and you decide that you're going to grow up as a person. You're not going to make any excuses. You're going to show up to, to trade your system. You're going to adapt, improvise, and overcome when things go wrong. You're not going to be a victim and you're not going to shift responsibility for your success onto someone else or something else. I'm not spelling things right, so just... You're not going to shift responsibility. You're going to take complete ownership. As one of the books we're going to read in the new class um, is Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink, who I really want to have on the podcast someday. You're going to take extreme ownership. So this is an internal change. This is a change. Uh, this is digging deep and becoming the best person that you can be. This is casting aside all the limitations that you've put upon yourself. This is uh, growing up. This, this, is, this is saying... Uh, there, is not gonna, there isn't going to be a magic pill for me. There isn't going to be a magic solution for me. Well, maybe there is a magic pill. Maybe, maybe there is something you can take to, to help you uh, get over the hump or whatever it is. Maybe you can go talk to somebody. Whatever it is, though, if it's talking to somebody, if it's getting professional help, if it's getting out of a relationship that's disastrous, if it's shutting off your trading account and focusing and relearning a system, whatever it is, it's you taking absolute ownership. And maybe, maybe it's the case that you don't know what to do. Maybe you're like, all right, fine, I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely take control, I'm absolutely gonna take responsibility, but I don't know what to do next. 
Well, then you find a mentor. Then you find somebody you can trust and you ask them to help identify the path. In the same way that if I know I want to take my family to dinner and I know I want to go to a Mexican restaurant and I know the name of the Mexican restaurant but I don't know how to get there on my own, I ask Google. I ask Google Maps. And Google Maps tells me and then I get there and then my family and I eat together because we had someone to guide us to get there. So I had the willpower, I had the ability, I took responsibility for getting the family there, I had the money to take care of it, I was willing to do everything, but I didn't know how to get to the restaurant, I needed one extra help, I needed a map. So sometimes you need a map. So now what we've done is we've got focus, we've got, um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna call this, I wanna say we're gr growing up, right? And then we get a map. So we get those things. And these are all decisions. I decide to be focused. I decide to grow up and I decide to reference the map. I, listen, I, I'm not going to do this alone anymore. I'm going to reference a map. I'm going to see what, what, uh, what the milestones and checkpoints are along the way. I'm going to measure my success along the way and, and I'm going to do this. Now, once again, um, this is not a focus. This is, this is not an obsession with the goal. This is, this is realizing that, sure, I want to go to the Mexican restaurant with my family. Sure. Great. I want to get to the Mexican restaurant. Sure. Okay. But after I've decided that, I can't just sit around at home dreaming about Mexican restaurants or put pictures of Mexican restaurants on my vision board. That's preposterous and ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. And nobody in their right mind would ever believe that that's the recipe for success. That nobody ever. So of course you got to know where you want to go. You want to make a living from trading. Great. You want to make $250,000 from trading. Great. Whatever. You want to eat dinner with your family. Great. Whatever. Great. 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 There's this obsession in the world of telling each other, telling everybody what your goal is. Fine. I don't. Fine. I, I'm. I'm. I accept that that's your goal, and we're all thrilled for you that that's your goal. Um, but there's something about listening to somebody that is obsessive about telling you what their goal is that makes you want to say to them. I don't want to hear about that anymore. I just want to see you do something about it. It's like when your kids tell you they're sorry, but they keep doing the same darn thing. You want to say, I don't want to hear that you're sorry. I want to see that your behavior changes. Your behavior changing is about decision making. And that's why today's class is about decisions. So here's A. Here's B, where you want to get to. It's right next to you. It's right inside of you. It's already where you need to be. Everything you need is, is exactly where it needs to be and you make this decision. You make the big decision to do the three things that we just talked about. You're gonna focus, you're gonna grow up, and you're gonna get a map or a mentor to guide you. Person in the passenger seat telling you where to go next, or you're gonna get a map and you're gonna reference it on your own. And you make this big decision. This is it. This is how every, this is how every destiny was achieved. This is how every single person achieved their destiny or fulfilled their potential. This is what they did. This is, this is exactly what they did. And here's what else happened on the journey. So you're on a journey. Great. And there's ups and downs along the way. And once again, it's all about decisions. But now this time along the way, It's about the small decisions. It's about the small course corrections. You start out at A. Some people get to B, which is their goal. Find their true selves, live up to their true potential. Or some people get to Z. I know you can't see this word. It's hidden behind the thing. Failure. And the difference between that is, is that A, at point A, people made decisions the big decision. And then somewhere along the way, some people just can't sustain it. Some people fall off. Some people can't sustain it. And, and the difference is, and the reason is, there are these small decisions along the way. So it's the small, it's the little decisions along the way. And there are a ton of these little decisions along the way. Here are little decisions that make all the difference. Getting up on time. Um, getting to your appointments on time, getting your house in order, fixing your mind, um, uh, 
a small amount of exercise. Clean your desk. Do your daily analysis. Email your trading partners. Right? These are all small decisions. Take your trades. Check the robot. These are small course corrections and they're made usually daily and they're small decisions. So think about it. Now, once again, we don't wake, maybe you wake up in the morning and you say, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm focused. I'm, I'm growing up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put away childish things. I'm going to become an adult. I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to take complete ownership. So I'm growing up and I've got my map in front of me and the map for the day says, do this, do this, do this. Check my robots, check my trades, uh, plan extra trades if I need to, take the trades that I know I'm supposed to take, manage the trades that I know I'm already in, get out of the trades that I know I'm supposed to get out of. All of that stuff. Those are small decisions and they make all the difference. Remember, like if, if the journey to $250,000 is a two year journey, you don't go from like today to $250,000 tomorrow. There is something that's happening in between that time and I'll promise you it's not daydreaming. It's doing the little things. And the big decision is what's so easy for everybody to make. They stand up and they say, I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore. And they say, I'm finally gonna, I'm finally gonna grow up, I'm finally gonna get focused and I'm finally gonna figure out where I'm supposed to go and get some help. And then the next day they sleep in, they don't turn on their computer, they don't check their robot, they don't check their trades, they don't plan their trades, they change their system, they get a new indicator and their head goes on fire and they're running around like, I don't know why I'm not getting what I want. Well, they're not getting what they want because it's easy to say what your big decision is and what your big goal is. That's easy. But it's hard to get up in the morning and do the little things that you know you need to do. So here is how I think you can do that. Do something hard first. Here's what I mean by that. First of the day, first of the week, first of the month. On the, the, the beginning of the day, the week, and the month, you do something hard and difficult. You get up and you run or you walk or you, um, some difficult thing that makes everything else for the rest of your day pale in comparison to that difficult thing. You apologize, you, and, you, and the night before you plan it out, you plan it tomorrow, I'm gonna do something and it's been on my mind and it's been difficult and it takes, it, it's something that takes five minutes. You're gonna do your meditation, you're gonna do your exercise, you're gonna do your push-ups. Do, do 100 push-ups in the morning in five minutes. Something difficult, something that makes you go, get up at 4 a.m. I don't know, go back to bed at 4.30, but get up. Do something difficult to, to, to show that, that, and that's a decision. When you do something difficult, it's a decision to choose the path of success as opposed to the path of weakness and a lack of accomplishment. And then at the beginning of the week, you do something difficult to start the week off. I've been going to like Orange Theory Fitness and basically working out until I lay down on the ground and I, I, I wanna crawl into a hole. And then for the rest of the week, I'm like, I got this baby, I got this. I'm on it. My wife's a huge inspiration to me about this because she, she ran seven miles yesterday. She's doing difficult things. She's making the tough decisions. She's, she's getting ahead of that demon, right? She's, she's staying ahead of it. And that's what you do. When you do a difficult thing, you're pushing back the demons, you're pushing back the laziness, and you're doing it. And it doesn't have to be something that takes a long time. It can be something that takes five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. And then at the beginning of the month, do something difficult. You might, uh, you might read a book, you might, um, I don't know what it is, you figure it out on your own. You do something hard and, and that's a small decision that makes, I don't, that's a small decision that makes all the difference. And then this collection of small decisions over time adds up. 
And I think these small decisions are difficult things. If you can do the difficult thing, then you can do these, these other things that you need to do every day. So here's the plan. You, you make the big decision. You focus, you grow up, and you get a map or a mentor. That's number one. Then you make a list of all the small decisions. These are really just processes or systems, little systems that you do daily. And you say, this is what I got to do. This is what I got to do. This is what I got to do. One, two, three. These three things make all the difference in my trading. I check the charts. I identify entries, put them in, and I manage trades, or whatever it is. Whatever those three things are for your trading. For me, it's check the robots, plan third trades, enter the third trades if necessary, and, and that's it. That's all I have to do, and then I'm going to make uh, 2 to 3% a month. That's it. That's all I got to do. That's all I got to do, and, I, and, and that's it. That's a system. So that's way better than daydreaming. And then, I, then, then all, all of a sudden, it's almost like your, your obsession with what you don't have. See, when you focus at the beginning on the goal, and you wake up every day and you think about that, you're focused on what you don't have. And that's automatically a negative, and it's automatically, it's automatically going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to work against you. So when you, when you think, this goal is external to me, this goal is outside of me, this goal is in my future, this goal is beyond me, this goal is something I don't have, you're focusing on the failure of, and, and, and the lack of what you need, have, or want. Instead, when you focus on small decisions and the routine systems or processes, the three things that you have to do to be a better husband every day. Uh, make coffee for my wife, express my appreci appreciation for my wife, um, and serve her to the highest of my, plan one thing to serve her to the highest of my ability. Saying I want to be a great husband and daydreaming about that isn't going to get me uh, into the Hall of Fame of husbands. That's not going to happen. Three things that I got to do with my children. Spend 10 to 15 minutes of quality time with them, eye to eye, conversation to conversation, per day. That'll do it. That'll do it. That's 100% more than, than every other man does on the planet. And if, and if, and if someone out there doesn't live with their children, I don't live with two of my children full time, so I gotta, I gotta make an effort to get that time on FaceTime or Skype or um, walk over to their house or whatever I gotta do. Once again, part of growing up is saying, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do. I made that decision first. I didn't daydream about, oh, the day will come when, when you know, this person I don't like is dead and, and uh, I have a trillion dollars in the bank. That's ridiculous. Three things I got to do to be a better trader. Check my charts, plan my trades, put the trades in, manage my trades. Three things I got to do to be a better robot trader. Wake up, check my robots at the same time every day, identify third trade opportunities to manage my trades better, take those third trades. I'm going to make 2 to 3% a month, period. And then, and it always happens, and then when you hit a wall, and you're just banging your head against the wall and you're yelling to the universe, no, you find yourself up against a wall, a, a drawdown in your system, a string of losses or stopouts or a server outage or a broker problem. When you find yourself banging your head on the wall, you will return to the fact that it's not the obstacle that matters and it's not the goal that matters. It's making decisions that matter. So instead of banging my head against the wall, which is a decision that most people make, I might choose to walk around the wall. So when I have a drawdown, what that means is instead of complaining about the drawdown, I turn the bad trade into a good trade. My bad trades are simply big trade discovery mechanisms. A bad trade is the identification of a trend which has infinite opportunity inside of it. So I walk around the problem. Think about it. 
Think about it. Anyway, your life, your destiny uh, is determined by and shaped by the decisions that you make. I'm Rob Booker. I love the crap out of you. <laughs> I'm so grateful for the time we spent together. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like this. Go to youtube.com slash Rob Booker or you're right here on the channel right now. Um, and go to robbooker.com if you're watching this on the day that I produce this video. Uh, the, the brand new program called The Path where I show you how to make those decisions, where I show you how to focus, what to focus on, how to grow up, and I'm your, I give you a map, and I'm your mentor. That program closes today. Um, so if you haven't done it already, then get in there. I love the crap out of you. Bye for now, everybody.